Hi guys, it's Kayla from Kayla Lovejoy Equine Art, and today I wanted to go over my Briarfest special run speculations. So for 2023, the Briarfest theme is driving forward, and to me this means they're going to have a lot of like good sport horses that are going to be good at pulling carts, so um, movements like a cantering horse would be really good. Um, a walking, trotting horse, different things like that. Standing models are going to be great. We probably won't see a whole lot of like rearing molds or anything like that. Um, he's not the best, I guess, cart horse, but I don't know. To me, like the Gypsy Vanners are definitely a good carriage breed. So I kind of had him here as one of my mold speculations. Um, I do have some little doodles that I've done that I'm going to show off um, of what I think are going to be used for models and stuff and like color speculations. So there's a few facts that we do know about the special run models. Um, typically they do use the th three uh, Premier Club models from the previous year. So there's a very good chance that we're going to see the new, um, the final Premier Club model for 2022. I don't even know how you pronounce the breed, um, but the one that was done by Sarah Mink, I think he's going to be used, which, okay, spoiler alert, it is January 3rd, and <laughs> Briar actually has shown a photo of him, so they are doing him as a chestnut with two white socks, so he was one of my speculated guesses, and he is being used. Um, not the color that I thought, but I'll show you what I thought he was going to be. Um, and then I do think they're going to use Zafira, although they have just today released her as a regular run model for next year. I don't think that's going to affect her eligibility as a special run model, but we'll see. Um, and then I also, we, I mean, they've got to use the new standard red. The new standard red trotter is a perfect driving breed. They are known for pulling, um, sulkies and racing, so... I definitely think that mold is going to be used. Um, let's see, there is typically at least one vintage mold used every year. Last year they used the Big Ben mold. Um, this year, my speculation for the vintage mold is actually um, Gem Twist. So I have a Gem Twist here. We haven't really seen him in a while. I think the last he was used as was as a special run. Um, and or no, actually a regular run. I think he was used as a regular run. But he hasn't been used in a while, and I would love to see him. I think he'd make a great driving horse. The other one that I think is a really strong um, contender here is the Old Timer Mold. So the Old Timer Mold was used at the True Blue event in 2019 as a special run. That was the last time he was used, so it's been a couple of years. Um, and I definitely think he's a really cute driving mold. Uh, if they use... Gem Twist, I would love to see him in a cute, like, reverse dappled champagne. I think that would be so stunning. Um, for the old timer, he would make really a great, like, sort of draft paint cross or even, like, a draft Appaloosa cross. Either one of those would be amazing. Um, okay, something else we know is that they always do an animal. Honestly, I didn't even draw out an animal because I have no clue what the animal could be this year. I mean, it could be a cow. I'm sure cows are used for different driving things. Honestly, me personally, I would love to see the moose used. Um, there is actually a photo somewhere online of moose hooked up to a cart and being used to drive. Um, there is an old photo of that somewhere online. I've seen it. Um, and I think, honestly, that would be so cool if they used a moose. Um, so the other fact that we know about the special runs is typically there are nine special runs total. And that does include the vintage mold and the animal mold. There's typically nine different molds used. Um, with the surprise models... That's another fact. They typically every year have one surprise model and it will be one mold with multiple different colorways. Um, there will be splits of matte and glossy. Typically there are much fewer glossies than there are matte models. So um, that gives you a total of nine. However, with the different colors, you'll have different colors and variations. 
So typically another thing that we know is that there's a matte and a glossy split on one of the other molds used for the Briarfest special run. Um, last year, oh, I don't know, there was a color split last year. So that's another thing that they do usually is they, along with the glossy matte split, there's usually either a color split or like a mane and tail split. So last year they did it on the um, Wyatt mold. They had the color split, you would get the Palomino Overo or the Sealed Bay Overo. So I think that's something that we're going to have to think about for this year's special run too, is like, which mold are they going to do that with? So um, let's get into this. Now, as I had said, the, premier, the previous year's premiere models are usually used. So I was thinking Zephyra. And if Zephyra could be in a black Rabicano, I think that would be a stunning color on her. So that's what I have her painted as here. Um, again, this is like my own speculation. I don't know if this is what they're going to do, but this is what I would love to see. Um, okay. Now, for the, uh, the new stallion that was done by Sarah Mink. Here he is. This was the third Premier Club release. I think he would look amazing in this Red Roan Tobiano. However, we know that he's actually going to be in Chestnut. So he has been released for the year. We do know this mold is getting used at Briarfest. And we know that he is a Chestnut with two white socks. Um, me personally, I think he would be a great contender for a glossy matte split. His color looks phenomenal. Um, and I think the gloss will really do a major difference on the matte versus the glossy. Um, so here we have Constantia. She's the new trotting standard bread. I was thinking a dark liver chestnut to, uh, Tobiano or some sort of Pinto would look really pretty on her. So that is her right there. That's my uh, color speculation. Let's see, we have, so typically they do a decorator every year. And my guess for the decorator is that it might be on the San Domingo mold. I think he'd make a cute little um, driving horse. I think if they did a decorator on him, it would be pretty cool. He hasn't been used much, so that would be a good mold for them to use for Briarfest again. Okay, this guy right here, he's a beautiful vanner. And I love this mold. I think he would be so fun in Buckskin Tobiano. They have done him in Tobiano before. They've done him in Buckskin. Um, a nice Buckskin Tobiano would be so perfect. He would make such a cute little driving horse. I would love to see him at Briarfest. Okay. Um, the Shagya Arabian is another one that I think would be a great contender as a driving mold. So I think she would look really cool in something Appaloosa, some sort of Arabian Appaloosa cross, maybe Chestnut Appaloosa or Bay Appaloosa. Either one would be really cool with me. Um, so here I've got her painted as a little Chestnut Blanket Appaloosa. Let's see, next I have, okay, so <laughs> um, that was a lot of the models. We are at the surprise horse speculation. So. This year, I'm really, really stumped. Like, so stumped, it's crazy. And I really don't even know what horse to guess for this. Um, so, in the past, there have been a couple of patterns occasionally. And one of the patterns that has shown up pretty consistently in the past is that they will use one of the previous year's auction models. So, the surprise horse is a lot of times an auction model that was used the previous year. And so I'm thinking they might do that again this year. I don't know for sure because again, they don't do it every year, but they do it most years. So if we look at the auction models from previous years, or from, actually this is from last year, this was Prost. We can see there are a few different molds here that might be contenders. Um, <laughs> okay, so the ones that really stood out to me as great contenders was Catch Me. I think this mold, or True North, um, some people know it as the True North mold. Uh, I think this 
is going to be a great contender for the surprise model. I think he's probably probably my top contender right now. Um, another great contender I thought was the Brishan mold. So he was also used last year as an auction model. You can see here in the catalog of last year's auction models, we have um, True North right here. And then there is Brishan right here. Now, looking at this, there are a lot of molds that they would not use. So they've never used a mold two years for the surprise model. So they've already used the Andalusian, the Cantering Andalusian. They have already used the Nakota mold. They have already used the Esprit mold. Um, let's see, are there any others they've already used? So, and they've already used the um, Latigo mold here. So that is four molds right there that are automatically eliminated. Those will not be used for next year's special run surprise model. We know that. Um, now, looking at the rest of the options, it doesn't leave a lot of great contenders. Um, I do think Brishan is a great contender. I think True North is a great contender. And I also think that... Possibly um, Vallegro, the Vallegro mold could be another really good possibility, I think. Um, he's not very driving friendly, however, I do think he's a really nice warm blood mold. He could be the model that they use. Um, saying that, I'm going to show you my little images here of what I drew up. So, um... <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was going to be the American Saddlebred. I thought that the American Saddlebred was going to be the surprise model. Um, and you can see here, I painted him a nice dappled bay with some high white socks. And here he is a champagne. Um, he was my top choice. And I was painting these when Briar released the Silver Filigree Holiday Horse or Winter Model. Um, once he was released, I took him off my list. I thought, oh, I don't know, maybe they aren't going to use him because it's fairly close to um, Briarfest. You know, there's not a lot of time before Briarfest, so I figured maybe they aren't going to use him. Um, he is still a contender. I do still think maybe they could use him. If you look at the catalog here from last year's auction models, he is right there. They did use him last year. So this would follow along with their usual pattern. However, they don't always follow the pattern. So maybe the surprise model is something completely different that I haven't even guessed. I don't know. It could be. Um, for my other model guesses, I have a little catch me that I painted right here. And I did him in a black Sabino. Um, and then I did Brishan in an Appaloosa. So right now these are my top two choices for what the surprise model could be. And as they start releasing more special run models, we'll see whether those two are accurate. Um, at this moment in time, I'm kind of doubting Brishan because they actually released the Brishan Stablemate as one of the um, single day models. So uh, with a regular Briarfest access tickets, you would you could possibly get the little Brishan model. And he's in a super cute, um, I think it was like a Bay Roan Pinto pattern. It's super cute. I love it. Um, but it kind of makes me doubt my guess of Brishan being the special run surprise. I'm really leaning towards Catch Me. Now, with the special run model, typically there are at least four colorways. Um, and typically there's an Appaloosa, typically there's a solid colored horse, typically they have a Tobiano and an Overo. So those are the four colors that are typically used. Um, the Saddlebrick Mole, I would love to see as a surprise horse, but he would be so hard to realistically represent all those different colors. Um, Saddlebreds do not come in Appaloosa unless you have some crazy Saddlebred cross. I don't even know if I've seen an Appaloosa Saddlebird cross. Uh, <laughs> um, they do come in Pinto, but typically it's only Tobiano. So he would be a really hard horse to do a lot of different unique colors on like that. Uh, 
but I could still see Catch Me being in all of these colors. So Catch Me is a warm blood sport horse. Um, they can be any color. They can be Appaloosa. They can be Tobiano. They could be Overo. Um, so yeah, I would love to see him. I think he would look so good in a black Sabino. He would look amazing in a leopard Appaloosa, as we know. I mean, come on, Danny was amazing. <laughs> um, he would look great in a bay with four high white socks, and he would look amazing as a champagne. So, um, I'm gonna stick with my color guesses here for the surprise model this year. These are my four color guesses, and... Um, for right now, I'm going with Catch Me as my number one surprise horse guess. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing what I think about the Briarfest surprise models and special runs. Um, if you have any comments or guesses, uh, leave it below. Comment below. Let me know what your guess for the surprise horse is. All right. Thanks for watching and have a great week.